Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And we are back with another rack store pickup. And as you can see from the footage, as of late, my stores have been completely stocked. One thing I will say, is that Marshall's TJ Maxx. I noticed that not all of my stores had transitioned from having the fragrances lined up on racks into glass cases. They have pretty much done that. I don't really have any stores around me that haven't completely converted to the glass case. Now, as inconvenient as I find that to be, especially when you're filming, I wanna pick stuff up and look at the prices and look at you know the size of the bottle. It does seem to have better fragrances now locked up. Part of that reason obviously is the theft problem that these stores suffer from. People were stealing, obviously, the more expensive, the better fragrances, and we even get a chance to see them. So <laughs> I think as inconvenient as it is, I think it might be a good thing in the long run, just in terms of uh, variety and having different fragrances at our disposal at the rack store. So let's jump into it. The fragrance I ended up picking up at my local Marshalls and as you can see from the footage, there was a diptyque fragrance there, Eau Capital, which the only reason, well, I did consider it, but it was around 180 bucks. I think that one might be cheaper online. So I wanted to look into that one a little more, although there was another one that stood out. And the reason for it was because in my last weekly rotation video, one of you guys had mentioned that all you wore that particular week when you dropped your rotation in my in the comments was from this house and i had never heard of the house before so the fact that i found it just within a day or so of that comment and i actually asked that commenter where would you suggest starting with this house i've never heard of them they haven't answered me yet but looks like i'm starting here sent what talking about is essence eau de parfum from paddock maison so Paddock Maison, I have never heard of this brand. Have you guys? This is new to me. Marikai, I'm not sure what that is. Marikai, and as you can see here, I paid $90 in Marshalls. Now, what I did do while I was standing there was I looked it up and I wanted to see what this typically sells for. I couldn't find it cheaper than $250. So I'm guessing this is a niche house. I know very little about them. Yeah, let's get into it. As I always do, I'm gonna try this on skin immediately. I'm not wearing anything today. Walk you guys through it and let you know if this is any good. Paddock Maison. Let's give it a try. So as soon as I open the, and the presentation is, is pretty good. Uh, you just have this really nice box that comes in, top comes off. You have this gold foil here and it comes with a note. You gotta love notes. I'll read it really quickly. Each scent, each cloud of splendor that emanates within this case is our Marikai. Our love, our essence that we give to you in this fabled flacon. Such mesmerizing notes that await. We invite you to indulge in this sensory experience. An experience of absolute enchantment cloaked in wonderment. The perfection of an oriental composition amidst sophisticated splendors. Creamy vanilla methodically encroaching upon soft floral notes illuminated by the dazzle of a citrus lead. A romantic and modern collection with a warming, addictive persona. To leave a piece of yourself in everything you do. To do so with such vigor and passion that the essence of your being is left unaltered. Your identity and intention. To leave an imprint of your love, your presence, and your legacy. Live your Marikai and forever reminisce the beautiful moments that define your essence. Guys, I mean, this is a rack store find. We're getting into poetry over here. So, let's take a look at the bottle. Obviously, it's sitting nicely in this velvet bed. So presentation-wise, I'm impressed. I mean, if you're spending $250 retail for a bottle, I would expect the presentation to be nice. So there you have the bottle. It's a gold bottle with this burgundy foil wrapping it. And there's some words on there. Basically, it's all the words I just read to you uh, on the bottle itself, which is pretty cool. So there you go, essence. I know it's a little hard to pick up with the light, but so let's give it, let's take a look at the atomizer. So based on, nice atomizer, based on what it said, it sounds like it's a vanilla based fragrance. So let's see what this does. Okay. Wow, very floral in the air. I'm definitely picking up what smells like maybe a jasmine, very floral. Uh, I am getting that vanilla as well, but very floral. 
a little feminine, if I'm being honest. The, my uh, immediate sort of knee-jerk reaction and that is that this is feminine leaning. Fruity, floral, vanilla, some woods, a little smoky. I really like it. White florals. I'm not typically a fan of white florals only because they lean super feminine for me. They're one of the, you know, th there's other florals I really enjoy. Rose fragrances, uh, depending on how it's used. I don't know. It just, for me, it's not super feminine if it's blended right with other notes. But this right here, although not typically my thing, I'm actually liking it. The vanilla is incredible. Uh, it's coming out a bit more. It's It smells super creamy. Slightly powdery, but there's a resinous feel here as well. I'm I'm trying to sort of get a sense of when I would wear this in terms of season. But for me right now, I, I'm not, I think it's versatile. I think you could wear this pretty much year round just based on first impressions. Some of those florals are tapering off a bit and the vanilla is coming through more. This is unique. This is different. Uh, I'm not used to smelling. There's a fruit. There's a fruitiness in here. So fruity, vanilla, florals. I don't know if this is marketed unisex or towards women. I'm not sure. But this is also powerful. This smells like it's going to fill a room. Oh, yeah, this is getting this is getting really good. A little more masculine. Uh, initially, the first thing that jumped out at me were those white florals becoming much more tame now and reasonable. I can. This is something I could wear 100 percent. It's sweet. So there is a lot of sweetness, and I think the sweetness is coming from everything. The vanilla, the florals, the fruits. So the woods are still very subtle here. I'm curious to see where that goes. There's also a little bit of a spiciness here. I'm not sure where that's, that, where that's coming from. I got to take a look at these notes. This thing is very unique. It is changing really quickly, and there's a lot going on. So let's take a look at the notes. The notes of Americai Essence from Paddock Maison. Top notes are blackcurrant, bergamot, coffee, and lemon. Mid notes are orange blossom, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, sandbok, and sandalwood. And the base notes are vanilla, cashmere wood, tonka bean, cacao, cinnamon, and musk. So I didn't see the coffee coming there. I'm not necessarily picking up coffee here, but the rose, that jasmine, big note up front, but it's definitely tame, more tame now. The cinnamon makes sense because I'm getting that spiciness and also that black currant, which is I think why I'm liking this one so much. That fruitiness up front was balanced really well with the florals. Typically, if that black currant wasn't in there, I would have immediately been turned off by this one only because it smelled super feminine. The black currant just added this really nice, sweet, fruity earthiness balanced with the vanilla. It, it worked. I was able to get through that opening and it didn't last very long in terms of those florals. What this is turning into is a very unique, somewhat masculine vanilla that I would wear evenings out. So Although initially I thought this is super versatile, I think it's still versatile. I think you could absolutely wear this during the day pretty much in any season. But for me personally, this has a little bit of a romantic edge to it. Like I would wear this on a date night, taking my wife somewhere nice. It smells really great quality. I'm impressed so far with this house. You guys never steer me wrong. And this one, where was this house? I had never heard of it. With that being said, though, I don't think this is going to be for everyone. The florals are still there, and it's kind of coming in waves. So where some some sniffs, I'll get a little bit more of that vanilla. Other sniffs, I'll get a little bit more of the spice. Yeah, I like this one. I, I think that now I'm more curious about the house than ever. Yeah, I'd be curious to know what you guys think. Uh, have you tried this? Have you tried Marikai Essence Eau de Parfum from Paddock Maison? Would love to know. Yeah, guys. I like this one. I don't think my wife is going to like this one. She's not a big fan of vanilla. Uh, she's not even a big fan of florals, to be quite honest. So, but she, I shouldn't say that. She likes them on her. She doesn't really like them on me. So, yeah, very good fragrance. Americai Essence, Eau de Parfum. Drop it in the comment section down below if you tried this. Do you like it? Is it crap? Is it good? What do you think? Would love to know. $90 seems like a steal for this. I know it's a little more money. It's on the higher end. 
And also another thing to point out is based on the price tag, it looks like this was a store return. At one point, this was probably available online, Marshall's online, and someone returned it. They didn't like it, they returned it, gets put back into stock and it was red stickered. So I don't know how long it was sitting there, but I met that one pretty often and I didn't see this before. So nice scent. That's all I have today, guys. If you like what you saw, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.